to another video guys i hope you guys are all having a great day you guys all seem to love the fingerboarding videos that i do they all have like over 20,000 views it's awesome i'm glad you guys all love those videos so today i am going to be making a fingerboard feature out of wood i don't think i've made a fingerboard feature out of wood i've done foam board these i made out of foam board and paper awesome but these ramps definitely are best for like a finger bike it just works a little bit better but i don't do a whole lot of finger biking i'm mainly into fingerboarding which i know all of you guys are too so these features are great for like a finger bike and you can do some pretty cool stuff with a fingerboard but i need a fingerboard feature so today i'm making a low budget awesome diy fingerboard feature so let's do it so I just went outside and we have quite a bit of scrap wood laying around and I found this I'm pretty happy I found this this is going to be pretty cool and now we have this board here kind of my idea is we're probably going to put this on here glue it on like that and then we'll have a little ledge that we can skate and then I got this at a hobby shop a couple months ago and this was only a couple of dollars it's aluminum miniature coping I think people pretty much use this for like model airplanes I don't do a whole lot of model airplane stuff and I definitely don't use this for a model airplane I know other people do but I don't so we are going to be using this as coping I think it's kind of obvious but the first step is to cut this so let's go ahead and cut that 2,000 years later I'm done cutting this square piece of wood now. So we are going to glue it onto this one by six piece of wood. We use this as trim on our house, but this will look perfect for a fingerboard feature. So we are probably just gonna hot glue it onto there. My hot glue gun is just warming up now, and we are going to sand this with some 400 grit sandpaper because it's a little bit rough right now and we want it nice and smooth. This piece of wood is sanded now, but before we glue it in place, we need to figure out what we are doing for coping. So you could just glue it on like that, have it kind of like sticking out of this a little bit. But what I think we are going to do, we could either take a razor blade and just cut out that little edge there. And then this piece of aluminum will sit really nice inside of it. So if you don't have like a tool, like a table saw, use a razor blade. That's what I might do, but I think we are going to use a table saw and just take that edge right off. Before we take this edge off, I'm going to take a coping and just kind of line it up there. Now I'm going to take a pencil, just mark how it'll look. That pencil mark is there now, so we are going to take this to the table saw and cut this edge off. So I'll see you once this is cut. So a little bit of an update, we didn't use the table saw because we weren't able to get the blade close enough to the table and I didn't really want to risk cutting too deep in this. So we ended up using just a hand saw and you probably have a hand saw and then once we kind of cut down there we took a razor blade. So I basically did what we were going to do but then weren't going to do so we did it. is ready to be glued in here but before I do that I have a little giveaway that I'm going to do so I'm going to open this Amazon gift card up this is $25 American so for all of my American friends this is for you All you need to do to get this $25 gift card is go into your Amazon account and at the checkout you need to order something. At the checkout, punch in that code and then you'll be able to get whatever item you want. And it'll be a little box that'll just say redeem gift card, add gift card, something along those lines. Put that code in and good luck. If this doesn't work for you, it either means you don't live in the US. You might think you live in the US, but you don't. So if it doesn't work, you don't live in the US or somebody did it before you. And and if you want more giveaways like this, hit the subscribe button down there because we do these giveaways somewhat often. So <laughs> hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss a video where I might give away a gift card. And as you can see, we've also done Google Play cards, iTunes cards, Amazon cards. So subscribe buttons down there, free. 
get hot glue gun. It is nice and hot now, so we are going to glue this coping on. I'm just going to heat this up in my hands a little bit because we need this kind of warm when we put the hot glue on because, as most of you know, hot glue doesn't like sticking to anything cold, so let's warm this up. Okay, that's on there. And this video is also kind of like you could make this feature and then just like ride it like that, which I'm just gonna get a couple of clips quick. But then what we are going to do is attach it onto this one by six, just so then we have a couple different options. So then once we glue that on there, you can do a couple different things. You can do like manuals across there, grinds on that, kind of do like a little combination of both. Pretty cool. I haven't fingerboarded since like early this year, so my moves are a little bit sloppy, so hopefully I can get better using this. All we pretty much need to do now is hot glue gun this onto there. And then something that I might add is just like a little ramp up to it so you can get a little bit cleaner lines. But I'll see once this is glued on. And that is on there now. Hot glue binds super well with wood, like wood on wood. It's just like probably one of the best glue jobs you can do. You could use something like epoxy or super glue, but I wouldn't recommend it. Everybody has a hot glue gun. At least most people have a hot glue gun. So definitely use a hot glue gun. And if you don't have a hot glue gun, get one of these for like $2 at a dollar store. I also have this piece of wood, so I might do something with this kind of just on the edge. Maybe make a little stair set up to it. So yeah, I think I'll do that. But before I do that, I'm just gonna cut a little angle on that. And maybe put it kind of like up against here so we have like a little bit of another option to do. I think I'll do that. finished. I am super happy with the results. I didn't end up putting stairs on just because I kind of like the freedom that you can do some stuff without stairs. So now all we need to do is skate it with my fingers. There you go guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a super simple way you can make a fingerboard feature. And if you were to buy this off the Black Ribbit website, this would be probably about $40. And that's Canadian, so not quite as much American, but technically the same value. And I love how this feels, just like the very solid feel of wood. I don't know what it is about it, it just feels like super solid. Like nothing about it shakes or anything, like everything's just on there for good. Again, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope one of you got some something cool with that Amazon code. 
buy a finger board. I got this off Amazon. This is probably one of like the best deals on Amazon. You can get about $10 for a high quality wooden finger board. And if you were to get this off of the Black River website, it would be pretty expensive, but it would be a little bit higher quality, but you know what to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. It'll be right down there. Comment below if you want more finger boarding content. I know all of you guys really like it. So I'll take that as yes. Two more videos for you to see, one up there, one down there. Subscribe button is over there, social media links in the description below, and I'll see you in my next video.